interference because the next time we do this match, we're doing it in a steel cage. Oh, no, we're not. What are you no. talking about? We need to talk about that. What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoon's Delight. So, Indy Hartwell got a chance to see her in uh, solo action. I think that this might be Indy Hartwell's first solo or individual singles uh, contest on Raw since he's been drafted, you know, or in the WWE period. Because he's, I think she was always in like a tag team situation with Candice LeRae. I don't think I've ever seen her in a, like a one-on-one -on -one match. So, her first opponent ends up being the Women's World Champion, Rhea Ripley, with Dom ringside, too. So, uh, but she did have help because she had Candice LeRae ringside as well. Now, this was an interesting match. Like, so basically what happened was Rhea Ripley basically dominated Indy Hartwell most of the match. And it was a battle between the Aussies, man. We had a battle between the Aussies tonight. And one of the things that was interesting was is that they said that Indy and, and Rhea had met each other like 11 years ago or something like that. And she's been aiming, Indy has been aiming towards catching up to Rhea. Now, Indy's younger than Rhea. I think Rhea's 26 and Indy's like 23 or something like that or 24. So, she's a couple of years behind her in age. So, yeah, she has to catch up to her. And uh, it would be incredible if we do get, like, if the WWE could set this up in Australia, like uh, do a PLE event in Australia one day, outdoor stadium in Australia, one of the uh, Women's World Cup venues that we see. Set that up, dog. 80,000 people, 70 to, 60 to 80,000 people, bro. Set that up, man. Indy Hartwell versus Rhea Ripley, bro. That'd be fantastic if we could get that one day, bro. It'd be fantastic. But, uh, so let's just go straight into how the match ended. But there was a point where Rhea Ripley was manhandling, uh, Indy Hartwell, uh, shoving her into the ring post. And then she eventually tossed Hartwell back in the ring and she was uh, waving at uh, Candice LeRae. He was looking, right? And so she did like a suck it thing too, which is funny. So she was sending messages to Candice LeRae, right? And then Rhea did one of the most sneakiest things. So she goes into the ring. Then she gets back out of the ring when Candice wasn't looking and she knocks down uh, Candice LeRae. And then Ripley returned to the ring and called and was caught inside of a cradle for a two count, but then Ripley hit her with a ring tie finisher and got the three count of her. So that was all she wrote for Indy Hartwell in a little bit over three minutes. And Rhea Ripley, reads, uh, well, she didn't have to retain because this was a, this was a non-title match, but uh, she got the win here. So Indy Hartwell goes in the L column, but hey, no shame losing to Rhea Ripley, right? And next video we're gonna go at, we're gonna talk about the, uh, the, bro, uh, the little fight between the three after the match because this again this is where the numbers game for Rhea um, becomes a problem but in this situation Rhea part didn't really have too much of a problem with Indy and LeRae just due to the fact that there was no Raquel Rodriguez we didn't see Raquel got Rodriguez the whole night man that is crazy that was crazy. But dominant performance for Rhea, man. Rhea really showed how powerful of a woman champion she is, man. And like I said, they play the cards right. I don't think she has to get that championship up for like another two years, bro. I think you build someone up to uh, take it away from her. I think I think if you play your cards right, I think it could be Indy Hartwell. I think it could be Indy Hartwell, bro. If you build her up enough, uh, in, in, uh, enough time in the next two years and you do that match, like I said, have it in Australia... Bro, Indy could beat Indy Hartwood. I mean, Indy Hartwood could beat Rhea Ripley. Because I don't really believe that Raquel Rodriguez is going to get it done, y'all. I don't. I don't think Raquel Rodriguez is going to get it done. I don't think she's going to beat her, bro. I really don't. So, we'll see, man. Hopefully, I'm wrong. But, like, I, I, I don't I don't see it, bro. I just don't. But go ahead and get this video a like, share, subscribe, y'all. Give me your thoughts in the comment section. We're going to talk about the bra in the next video. So, I, I, I got, I'm going to talk a little bit more about what Rhea should do with the Judgment Day um, as far as recruiting goes. Because some new ideas came up in the past week that I was reading from you guys as well, so we're going to bring all that up in the next video. So we'll close Raw out with that one. But go on ahead and get this video a like, share, subscribe, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. After news tonight.